the danger with communications is that you're not talking to people that already know what's going on. In fact, you're talking to people that are often, you know, also extremely intelligent, but they just haven't been working on this issue for the last five or ten years, which means that they're not going to know exactly what you mean. And even then, there could be different definitions of what that one word is as well, which happens a lot, particularly with climate change and social justice issues as well. Um, so one of the things that we do at The Verb, given that we specialise in the UN climate change negotiation space, is we don't use acronyms in all of our media reporting. We'll only use acronyms in brackets after we've spelt out whatever it is in full. So sometimes that's really dumb because everyone will be like, of course you're talking about the UNFCCC. You could have just saved yourself from typing like 15 additional characters. But we're not just trying to reach people that already know what's going on or already are following that process, which is why we always spell everything out. And when you make a habit of spelling everything out, it doesn't seem that stupid anymore. I mean, we'll spell out everything from the European Union to like what ASEAN would stand for, from the really little things that realistically everyone knows that the EU is the European Union. But if you're spelling that out, then why wouldn't you also spell out, you know, the Asian Development Bank and things like that as well? And one of the reasons why we do that is acronyms are only useful if you're working in that day-to-day space because it makes communications faster. But acronyms fail the moment someone has to Google what an acronym is to understand what you were talking about. It's the same as using a really complicated word when you could have 